We're expecting that there will be about 41 million theologically defined born again Christians who aren't going to bother to vote. Now, when you look at turnout levels, when you look at vote projection levels, that's a game changer right there. And when you look at who those people would be likely to vote for, by a large margin, they would back Mr. Trump. By their refusal to show up in this election, what that basically says is Mr. Trump is going to be very, very hard pressed to win. That's a segment that he's been able to rely on in his prior two election campaigns, but he can't really rely on them now. Now, one of the things that the survey showed is that part of the reason for that is that the churches that uh, people of faith, that regularly attending self-identified Christians, theologically defined born again Christians, people attending evangelical churches, these are all the groups we were looking at where we've got tens of millions who are not going to vote. But we looked at what are their churches doing about the election. And what we discovered is that by and large, their churches don't want to get involved. What we found is that only 56% of Christian churches in the country have even bothered to encourage their people to vote. Now, we did other uh, questions in the survey that found that that would motivate a large number, millions and millions of Christians. It would motivate them to vote 